Chong ching, chong ching. Oh, hello. Hello there, people. Chong ching, chong ching. Did you miss me at all? Ching, chong ching, chong ching. Because I certainly miss you guys. Chong ching, ching, chong. <laughs> and I miss playing this song. <laughs> yes. Life has been empty. Without playing that song. Hello, Rise to Meet You people. Hello, Rise to Meet You listeners. It's been a while. It's been, what, two months? Two months since we published the last episode? How are you guys? How are you guys? It's just me today. As you can see, it's a, it's a different vibe. I'm here. This is like a teaser episode for my new podcast. Let me just get it out of the way before I jump into, you know, shit I've been up to since we stopped doing Rise to Meet You. Uh, I have a new podcast coming out. The trailer has been out already since last week, but tomorrow, if you're listening to this when it comes out, tomorrow uh, is episode one of my new podcast. It's called Haya with Nigel Ng. It's a podcast, a comedy podcast about disappointment. I just talk about disappointing things that happened in my life in the past week. And I have listeners calling in, leaving voicemails or emailing in with their stories of disappointment. And trust me, guys, I've gotten a few really cool ones, you know, a few really crazy ones that I'll be uh, reading out in the next episode. It's a solo one. The vibe will be very different from Rise to Meet You because obviously Rise to Meet You is a conversation between Evelyn and I. But this Haya podcast is just me ranting in this empty room right here. <laughs> so it's a very different vibe, but it's still going to be funny. <laughs> I miss saying that. I miss saying funny. Uh, and hopefully I can bring that over to the new part, you know? Funny. It's very addictive to say. So if you are a fan of Rise to Beat You and you like my crazy rants and crazy thoughts and unorthodox opinions on shit, I think you're going to like my new podcast. So wherever you're listening to this right now, just go search for Haya Podcast or Haya with Nigel Ng, H-A-I-Y-A-A with Nigel Ng. You know how Haya is spelled. You should know that by now. Uh, just go search that and then hit the big subscribe button. It would be nice to see you there, especially if you're a fan of Rise to Meet You. Uh, the vibe will be, it'll be, you know, it's, Similar vibe I had on the po- on Rise to Meet You. So if you like Rise to Meet You, you'll like that. So go hit subscribe. That's one. After you hit subscribe, go follow the social media for the podcast. Okay? So it's Haya Pod on all social media. Instagram, Haya Pod. Twitter, Haya Pod. Um, I'll probably start a TikTok and a and all, all the other stuff for it soon. Uh, but right now it's just Instagram and Twitter. And thirdly, last thing. Please leave me a five-star rating and review on whatever podcast app you use. I think most podcast apps now let you leave a rating and review, right? But if not, leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. That is um, the most important, I think, because the algorithm there, it pushes the podcast out to more people, the more reviews I get. Uh, And also, I'm telling you this now, uh, so you can go leave the review now, uh, right after you listen to this. Because then when it launches tomorrow, I'm going to blast it to my mailing list and people will go listen to the podcast and they're more likely to listen if they see, oh, okay, they, this podcast already has like 10 reviews and quite a few listens and people seem to enjoy it. It's all five stars, yada, yada, yada. And I know you guys are uh, fans of Rise to Me. You, that's why you're still listening to this, even though the podcast is now retired. That's why I think I can count on you guys. So I really appreciate it. We really, really appreciate it if you guys went and subscribed, followed, and reviewed. The three things you need to do. Now, with that out of the way, uh, I met up with Evelyn for our sketch show thing, and we had dinner on Monday. That was super fun. She's crazy busy, crazy successful, doing a lot of acting work, so I'm very, very happy for her. She's a star. A star. She's she's getting there. She is going to be huge. I mean, she already is, like, huge. Huge in terms of, like, profile, okay? Don't cancel me in episode zero. (laughs) You know what I mean. You know what I mean. She is a star, and she uh, the sketch show is looking really good. Uh, I think Evelyn's acting is phenomenal in it. We were talking about stuff. We went to get dinner after. Uh, we had our photo shoot that day, right? Some press stuff. And then we got dinner afterwards, 
And it was nice, nice catching up with her. Well, we were talking about starting a new podcast, right? And uh, she's starting one uh, as well. So hopefully in the next couple of months, you'll hear from her. If you haven't followed her, you should follow her on social media and then follow her new podcast when it launches. It's going to be really, really good. But this new podcast I'm launching is just me solo because uh, I, I am going on tour next year. And I don't know if you know, but I'm going on a world tour. So one, I I don't want to be lugging too many cameras around. If you If you have a podcast with two people, then that's three cameras you need to lug around because you need you know a wide shot, two people in the shot, and then a single shot and a single shot. That makes a good podcast. But I, I don't think I can lug so many cameras around. You know, I need to be sneaking in crispy pork into different countries. <laughs> you know, the proper Asian way. My bag is full of food. So I just want to lug one camera around and one set of gear. And also, the time zone difference is, is very hard to manage. Both of us, in the last few episodes of Rise to Meet You, we were getting busier and busier, and Evelyn was traveling between London and, and Sweden, and uh, there was one time I thought we were recording remotely, and then she just showed up at my, at my flat. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't know we were supposed to do it in person. So I think the solo podcast works for me. I will have guests every now and then, but I think the bulk of the episodes would just be me solo talking. Guests, guests would be nice. Uh, and of course... When Evelyn's back in town, we'll have her back on here. I think she just flew back to Sweden yesterday. So that's all good. But how are you guys? How are you guys? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, as of today, Wednesday, we announced the Netflix. I'm doing the Netflix is a joke comedy festival. Uh, that's going to be in LA next year, April 30th. Uh, we announced it 10, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Pre-sale started. And then 12 hours later, I actually sold out the show. So very, very grateful to all the listeners and all the fans. Thank you for supporting and uh, we're adding extra shows. But that is going to be my big project for next year, you know? My podcast, my Uncle Roger videos, then my tour. Uh, I'm just giving you a live up update of myself. Uh, I'm not really <laughs> ranting just yet. I'm saving it for episode one of Haya Podcast because I'm recording that right after this, Okay. So I need to save the creative juices for later. This is just like a little warm-up. This is just to say hi to you guys because I miss you guys. I miss having a podcast. I miss being a person who has a podcast. That's what I missed. And don't come at me with the, oh, Nigel, you shouldn't have your self-worth be tied to whether or not you have a podcast. It, it's not. My self-worth is not tied to that. I just like having a podcast because it's a way of Delivering my thoughts out there. And I miss having a podcast. It's good. The Uncle Roger videos, really fun to make. Don't get me wrong, but it's still me playing a character. You know, it, it's fun, but it's very edited. It's very written. It's planned. It's not raw and authentic. It, it, I think it's very funny, but it's not raw and authentic and off the cuff. So that's why I miss, I miss having a podcast. And uh, I've been getting a lot of messages. Spotify wrapped. When Spotify just told you which sad songs you've listened to a lot. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Spotify rapped. Like, I went through a traumatic start of this year. Okay, uh, the cancellation. And then the, the psycho Swedish woman stuff. You know, problems. And through that time, I listened to a lot of depressing music. And Spotify rapped kind of just reminds you that you were really sad at the beginning of the year. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> That's what Spotify Wrapped is supposed to do. To remind you that you used to be sad or, or happy. I don't know your life. Maybe you're listening to a lot of uh, really happy music. You know, like Pharrell, the Pharrell Williams song, Because I'm Happy. Maybe you're listening to that on loop. And then Spotify Wrapped kind of just showed you, yeah, you used, remember when you used to be happy in January 2021? And now I just listen to Adele. Go easy on me. You know, that shit. But yeah, Spotify rap reminded me that I was, uh, I, 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 was I went through a rough time at the beginning of the year. Uh, so that was a nice blast from the past. I find that Spotify rap and uh, if you use an iPhone, there's a thing now called widgets. So on your home screen, instead of just icons, you can see like they surface a few old photos that you took maybe a few years ago. This time from a few years ago. That's the same effect Spotify Wrapped has on me. Because, you know, I had a lot of like sad photos, photos that were happy at the time, but then 
when you see them now, you feel sad. Isn't it funny how photos can have that quality? You know, you're really happy in the photo with your loved one or ex-loved one. You know, you're very happy in the photo. And then you snap the photo. The emotion is happy. But over the course of time, that photo becomes a sad photo. And that's what uh, the, the iPhone widgets thing does. Why, why hasn't anybody complained? It's not good for your mental health, is it? How is that good for anybody? The iPhone widget and the, and the Spotify wrapped playlist. I don't know. But I brought up Spotify rap because a lot of people uh, tagged me in the Spotify rap saying Rise to Meet You was the podcast I listened to the most. So thank you so much. I, I've watched every story that I was tagged in. It makes me feel really special. You make me feel special. Oh yeah, that's going to be soundboards, people. That's going to be a soundboard in the new podcast, people. This is not going to go away. I bought this shit. For 600 pounds. Well, I bought it three years ago for 600 pounds. So I'm going to use it because uh, it's been with me. It's my trusty little podcast companion. And sound effects are just fun. Sound effects are just fun. I have this, you know, it's going to work really well with the Haya podcast. Oh my God, you're killing me, woman. Haya. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's uh, enough catch up with you guys. But thank you so much to all uh, listeners of Rise to Meet You. We've, it's been an amazing journey. And I hope you can continue the journey with me and with Evelyn, of course, when she launches a podcast. I hope you'll continue the journey with us. So head on over to Haya with Nigel Ng, the new podcast. I, I, I will put the links in the description for Apple, Spotify, YouTube, whatever. So the three things you have to do, go click, subscribe, okay? And go follow the social medias. And I'll, I'll put those links in there as well. And most importantly, go leave a rating and review. Five stars, please, or whatever rating system you have. Leave us the best rating, please. Only the best rating. And then I will see you in the new podcast. I am really excited for it. And I hope you guys will tune into that. Peace out. Ching, chong, ching, chong, ching. I'm going to try to find a way to play this in a new podcast. Don't you worry. Ching, chong, ching. Ching, chong, ching, chong, ching. Stay funny. Ching, ching, chong. <laughs> All right. See you at the new podcast, guys. Bye.